Hi guys, welcome to a little bit of everything. You're here with me, John. No lead today, just me on my own. I know it's been a while since I've posted anything. I've actually got maybe one, two, three, about four videos to do, but they're all on, on belt, so I kind of didn't want to post everything on that, but um, I do have a belt video today. Again, something a little bit different. Um, this is, I think I have reviewed it before, my Red Universal title. Um, we're going to do something a bit different with it today. Uh, obviously, they don't use the Red Universal anymore. Uh, this is not a standard red. This is on a Paul Martin leather strap. Um, however, like I said, they don't use it anymore. Uh, I bought the standard one um, at a house show, um, whenever it was. Um, and then literally a day later, they swapped it over to the blue one. Uh, I was a bit peeved. It was like, surely you could have, you know, advertised the blue one, you know. We're at house show, it's only one day. Uh, but they didn't. Um, and I managed to pick this uh, Paul Martin leather strap up second hand. Um, really good quality. I highly recommend it if you haven't, um, you know, upgraded to a leather strap. But I've always fancied the blue. Um, but I'm too tight to now then go out and buy a, a blue one when I've already got a full leather red one. So we're going to do something very, very risky where we're going to try and paint this now we do have some proper leather paint i will grab that we have some proper leather paint it's not quite the right color you can't actually buy the, the bang on color for uh, tv it doesn't exist i don't believe or if it does i can't bloody well find it um but we're going to try and paint it i'm going to talk you through the process what we're doing um i, I guess <laughs> here goes nothing guys let's get to it <laughs> Okay, so first things first, I've taken the plates off. As you can see, it actually is quite stained. Didn't realize how, how stained it actually was. You can see the W mark in there. You can see what the side plates are. So I'll give it a clean, I'll give it a wash, and uh, we'll make sure that it's ready for painting as well. Um, I'm going to uh, put masking tape over these. You don't have to. If you get a bit of paint on, you can always clean it off. And I'm also going to masking tape the back at the side there, well, all the way around there actually, because you do have to paint the edging as well. And I don't want to get paint on my backing strap, so I would advise masking taping it up, but that's entirely your choice. That's the back all taped off. That was laborious, I'm not gonna lie. You may wanna skip this step, but that's entirely up to you. Next step is to tape these off. Uh, I reckon they're about five pence piece size, so we need to tape, you know, measure it onto the tape. And then cut them all out, so that's going to be just as laborious. And then we can start painting. Yeah. Okay, so we've got these all covered over. Yeah, the lighting's not not great in here, guys. Uh, we're going to start at this end because uh, if I change my mind and panic, this is going to be under the under the belt tip. Um, so we're going to start at that end and then work our way down the belt. And uh, well, let's. Uh, I guess. Oh, here we go. Let's go from red to blue. Good God, I'm, this is the worry. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Oh well. No turning back now, guys. No turning back.
Okay, so we're just coming up to not far off the halfway mark on the the, the belt itself. Uh, the painting's going quite quite well. It's going to need a couple of coats without a shadow of a doubt. Um, I I'm liking the colour. I know it's not bang on to uh, what TV is. Um, you know, I don't think you can get it exact. I don't think any of the the belt makers themselves say that you know it's bang on exact TV replica. It's as close as they can they can get. It. Um, this looks pretty good. Um, I'm quite happy with it and how it's going. Uh, my camera equipment just died, hence why it's just gone a little bit shaky. Um, despite the fact that I charged it, good old shitty gimbals for you. Um, so I'm going to keep on painting and see how far I get, and then I'll uh, I'll, I'll give a you know well, not to you guys. It'll be a quick second, but you know. Uh, I'll pop the camera back up. So this is after one coat. I don't think it looks too bad. It definitely needs another coat. But it's looking pretty good, guys. To actually putting on coat three here. I actually forgot to film coat two, so my sincerest. What I actually found, I got some tips off of uh, off one of the uh, belt groups I'm on. I was to water it down slightly. Every time I take a little bit of pen, I dip my brush in water. Just glides it along a little bit, thins it out, thins the layer out a little bit. Uh, and helps it spread a little bit easier. Uh, first coat was quite thick, uh, managed to put on quite nicely. Uh, this coat I'm putting on quite quite thin. It's just uh, lots of thin coats now, just so that we've got barely any brush strokes. We're really nice and light. Uh, this is just to you know finish finish the belt off really more than anything else. Hide any uh, blemishes uh, and just make it look look pretty good really. To be fair, but it's coming along nicely. I reckon by tomorrow morning, in my case, we'll have a a complete complete belt, and I can get the plates back on. That will be uh, that'll be nice to have it back on. But yeah, I mean, colour wise, it's looking looking pretty damn sharp. What do you think? So we're just finishing up on the final coat. Well, not the final coat. The third coat on the final snap box. Uh, this was the one I haven't been able to put any masking on. Uh, the belt itself, yeah, it's really shiny at the moment because you know, it's wet. Uh, you're going to see some some streaks in it because it's never ever going to go away, but it's looking a really decent colour. This side's drying up a lot nicer. So it's going to be a nice darker blue than, than what it looks like. It looks a lot darker in person than, than what it does on, on here. So I, I reckon um, once we finish this side of it up, uh, we'll leave it to dry overnight. Check the colour out, may put another coat on it, we'll see what it dries like. If not, hopefully we'll we'll get it back to uh with a Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the crap sound effect. Uh so the belt's finished, or at least to my my taste, maybe I could do another layer of paint on it, maybe not, I don't know. I think it looks pretty damn good. Um I did about three coats uh on this. Uh, I did quite a thick coat for the base layer. Um, and then I, I was advised to do some really thin layers uh, after that by, by a friend on one of the belt forums. That was Belt Masters. Do check it out, guys, if you're not on my own Facebook. Um, but I guess let's not waste any, any more time. Let's have a look at the finished product with the, uh, the plates on. So here it is, the Blue Universal tile. <laughs> uh, this is a Paul Martin strap uh, that I have repainted blue. Uh, I think I mentioned before it was a Paul Martin strap. But um, for me... This has come out really nice. I was very, very nervous, uh, as you've seen in the video, uh, about painting this because this was uh, obviously not a cheap strap. Um, this was quite an expensive strap, to say the least. Um, but I think this has come out really, really nice. Uh, really, really good colour to it as well. Um, full leather paint. So yeah, I've got a bit on the... On the um, I forgot what they're called. Snaps. I'm going to take that off eventually um, to make it... Just say a bit better, but it's come out really good. Is it bang on the colour of TV? Do you know, I've been looking at the photos at the TV one, and maybe it's a little bit lighter. It's probably more similar to the replicas that you get. I'm, my friend's getting the blue replica shortly. I think what we'll do is we'll do a comparison and compare 
mine against his and maybe even do a video. I'm happy with how this turned out. Would I recommend you doing it? That That's entirely up to you whether you go for it. Um, it's a big risk. Not so much on the standard strap because you can pick them up quite cheap, second hand. Doing it on a re-levered one, obviously that's a big expense to uh, to risk it with. But it was a lot of fun doing it. Um, for me, it certainly uh, paid off. I've got a really nice Blue Universal Championship. And yeah, it feels like new belt day, strangely enough. Um, so I'm really happy with this, guys. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of where I got the paint from. Um, so at least which paint I actually used. And I want your comments below. Let me know what you think. Did I do a decent enough job? Does it look all right? Let me know what you think, guys. And uh, hopefully it won't be four months before the next video. See you next time, guys. Whoop.